Good morning and a very warm welcome. You are watching Janata Television and this is English Bulletin with me, Yudsa Bhajai. The top stories first. Government confirms highest single-day infection from coronavirus in Nepal. More than 3,000 cases reported across the country. Government gives go-ahead to conduct exams. Precautionary measures to be adopted for all level examinations. Government urges public not to celebrate Dasai this year, warns of possible risk of uncontrolled outbreak during the festive season. Russia reports a successful taste test launch of hypersonic missile. The missile reported to be capable of flying nine times the speed of sound. And as Djokovic struggles into the semi-finals of the French Open, Nadal and Tsitsipas join the serve in the final four. And now, the news in detail. The number of people infected with coronavirus in Nepal has climbed to 94,253. The government yesterday confirmed a record high 3,439 new cases of coronavirus across the country during the latest round of tests. The active number of cases in the country has reached 25,700 according to the Ministry of Health and Population. Kathmandu Valley alone reported 1,694 new cases. Out of the three districts in the valley, Kathmandu reported 1,296 cases, followed by Lalitpur with 292 cases and Bhaktapur with 95 new cases. Spokesperson at the Health Ministry, Dr. Jageshwar Gautam, informed during a regular press meet yesterday that the disease has claimed 15 more lives across the country. According to Dr. Gautam, seven of the victims were from Kathmandu. With this, the death toll from coronavirus has climbed to 578 in Nepal. On the other hand, a total of 66,668 people have recovered from the disease so far. It may be noted that the ministry had recommended the government to reimpose lockdown if the number of active cases crosses a 25,000 mark. The government has agreed in principle to conduct examinations of all levels in all universities, schools and educational institutions. Revealing the decisions taken by the cabinet yesterday, a government spokesperson Pradeep Gawali informed that the cabinet meeting on Monday had decided to approve in principle to conduct all examination in all levels that have been pending due to COVID-19 crisis. However, all precautionary measures and health protocols must be adopted while conducting such exams, said Minister Gawali. प्रतिष्ठान बोर्ड परिषद विद्यालय तथा शिक्षण संस्थाहरूलाई सबै तह विषय र प्रकृतिका परीक्षाहरू सञ्चालन गर्न सैद्धान्तिक स्वीकृति दिने According to Gewali, Monday's meeting has also decided to form a recommendation committee chaired by the Public Service Commission for the appointment of chairperson and two members of the Teachers Service Commission. Similarly, the government has also decided to approve small and vocational training programs. However, such training programs should not exceed 25 trainees in a class. This is Jonathan Bulletin. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. We continue with other national news. With the biggest festival of Nepal just around the corner, the number of people leaving Kathmandu Valley has been increasing on a daily basis. However, the government has urged the public to avoid travelling to their hometowns from the capital to celebrate Dosai in order to help stop the virus from spreading to their villages. A report. The government has drawn attention towards the potential of an uncontrolled spread of the COVID-19 virus if people leave the valley in large numbers during the Dase festival and return back, which is a general trend each year.
The government has urged the public to celebrate the festival from where they are this year as the virus will travel with the people from one place to another, making contact tracing next to impossible. The virus has been controlled to some extent outside the valley, but in Kathmandu, the virus has been spreading like wildfire. The government has asked everyone to follow the health safety protocols as any further increase in the number of cases of the virus in the valley can put all 4 million of the valley denizens at risk. Kathmandu bata gaun, pheri gaun bata Kathmandu. Yo sangramana bani sangsange aune ra over door garne jun jokhim cha. Yo kura lai vishesh dhyan raki dinu wala. Asis amle tadai bata bani lina saksho. Waharu... सुरक्षित रहनु भयो स्वस्थ रहनु भयो भने एस्ता अवसरहरु पटक पटक आउँछन् तर हाम्रो सानो लापरवाहीले उहाँहरुको स्वास्थ्यमा ठूलो जोखिम बढ्न सक्छ स्पोक्सपर्सन अफ द नेपाल गभर्नमेन्ट प्रदीप गेवाली ह्याज अर्ज द पब्लिक टु अवोइड मीटिंग रिलेटिव्स एन्ड ओल्डर पीपल टु रिसीव ब्लेसिंग्स ड्युरिंग दशैं स्पोक्सपर्सन गेवाली सेड द रिस्क ग्रुप अफ द कोरोना भाइरस आर द ओल्डर पीपल एन्ड देयरफोर मीटिंग देम कुड पोटेंशियली स्प्रेड द भाइरस एटा मुख्य विशेषता पारिवारिक पुनर्मिलन र आफू बंदा जस्ट बरिष्ट अग्रजहरु बाट सुभाषिस लिने तर यति बेला सबै बंदा जुखिममा जस्ट नागरिकहरु हाम्रा वृद्ध बुवा आमाहरु हजुरबा हजुरा आमाहरु काका काकीहरु हुनुहुन्छ त्यसो भकुनाले दशैं मनाउँदा हाम्रा अभिभावकहरुको सुरक्षा According to communicable disease experts, the death rate of people below the age of 60 is comparatively lower than those who are above 60. The increase in movement of people can therefore have devastating consequences for this age group, the experts warned. The government has urged everyone to avoid unnecessary travel, movement from one district to another and mandatorily follow the health safety protocols to prevent spread of the coronavirus. In other news, Minister for Culture, Tourism and Civil Aviation Yogesh Patrai yesterday informed that the government has decided to reopen religious shrines all across the country starting from October 17 next week. Speaking at the inauguration of a border outpost at Olang Chungola in his home district, Taplajan, Minister Bhatrai informed that the government has made necessary arrangements to gradually reopen the religious shrines which have been closed since the beginning of lockdown in March. All necessary health protocols will be adopted while opening such sites, Minister Bhatrai added. If the proposal gets approved by the next cabinet meeting, all temples will gradually reopen from next week. The registration for EDV or the Electronic Diversity Visa for the year 2020 has been opened from yesterday. The EDV lottery provides an opportunity to become, an, become a permanent resident of the United States. The online application period began at 9.45 Nepali time yesterday evening. According to the U.S. Embassy in Nepal, the registration deadline ends at 10.45 p.m. on November 5. The selected applicants will migrate to the United States in 2022. The lottery form can be accessed at www.dvlottery.state.government. According to the embassy, interested individuals will not have to pay any charges for being a part of the EDV lottery program. Five persons, including the ward chair of Junichade Rural Municipality, have been killed in a jeep accident in Jajakot. The jeep travelling from Jajakot's headquarters, Kalanga, to Junichade met with an accident at Aulbir of Junichade Rural Municipality 1. District Police Office Jajakot confirmed that the jeep with registration number P. 1J935 met with the fatal accident yesterday. Five passengers died on spot and two more are missing, police informed. 
The deceased have been identified as a ward chair of Junichade Royal Municipality Ward No. 11, Ambar Bahadur Shahi, Kirti Bahadur Shahi and Kaim Bahadur Shahi. Similarly, the other two deceased have been identified as Malika Basnet and Krishna Bahadur Shahi of Junichade Ward No. 5. Police have been searching for the missing passengers. And now, the news from Economic Front. The import of Chinese goods from the Russia Gadi border entry point has been increasing on a daily basis. The goods are being transferred from Kirin to the Friendship Bridge of Russia Gadi via Chinese containers. Customs officers and a chief of the customs office, Punya Bikram Karka, informed that a large percentage of the imported goods from China fall into the category of ready-made garments. The border entry point was brought into operation from 4th of July after being closed for three months due to the coronavirus. The customs office has generated 500 million rupees in revenue during this period. The APF border security unit based at Timure has informed that almost eight to ten large containers are brought into the customs holding point where they are checked up daily. The security unit has informed that 17 drivers and 32 porters have been deployed to help bring the containers to Timure from Raswagadi. The APF also informed that to prevent the spread of the virus, lodging for all porters and drivers has been arranged separately in the Raswagadi area. After the customs check-in completed on all imported goods, the concerned vehicle drivers take responsibility of those goods and it takes them to the final destination APF informed. Time for a short break here at Jonathan Bulletin. Stay tuned for international and sports news. Welcome back and now the international news. The Russian military on Wednesday reported a successful test launch on the new Zykron hypersonic cruise missile. According to the Associated Press, the missile was launched on the 68th birthday of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Speaking to Putin via a video call, a Russian General Staff Chief Valery Gerasimov said that the test launch was carried out Tuesday from the Admiral Groskov frigate located in the White Sea, north of Russia. The missile successfully hit a target in the Barents Sea, Gerasimov said. Putin praised the successful test as a big event for Russia. Equipping our armed forces, the army and the navy with the latest truly unparalleled weapon systems will certainly ensure the defense capability of our country in the long term, AP quoted the president as saying. Putin talked about the coming deployment of the new Zykron hypersonic missile for the Russian Navy in 2019, saying that it's capable of flying at nine times the speed of sound and will have a range of 1,000 kilometers. You are watching Jonathan Bulletin and now the latest from the world of sports. World number one Novak Djokovic overcame early physical struggles to beat Pablo Carreno Busta and reach the French Open semi finals. The Serb repeatedly needed medical attention during the first set, which he eventually lost 4 6. He needed frequent stretching and it was evident from his gameplay that he was struggling physically. However, after the end of the first set, he brought in the physiotherapist and appeared. We rejuvenized from there on. He won the next three sets and the match by a scoreline of 4 6, 6 2, 6 3, 6 4. Djokovic faces Stefanos Tsitsipas next. The Greek fifth seed reached his first French Open semi final with a commanding stretch with a commanding straight sets victory over Russian Andrei Rabilov. He won the match 7 5, 6 2, 6 3. 
And in other matches, a Spanish Rafael Nadal dominated his quarterfinal tie against a Janik Sinner by a scoreline of 7-6-6-4-6-1. He will face off against Argentine Diego Schwartzman. In the women's side, Petra Kivota reached the French Open semi-finals for the first time since 2012 as she beat Germany's Laura Sigmund in the straight sets of 6-3, 6-3. She will face American Sophia Kennan for a spot in Saturday's final. Kolkata Knight Riders defeated Chennai Super Kings in the 21st match of the Indian Premier League, played at Sikh Zaid Stadium yesterday. With the win, Kolkata Knight Riders jumped up to third in the table with six points, while Chennai remain in the fifth spot with just four points. Earlier, Knight Riders won the toss and decided to bat first with man of the match Rahul Tripathi scoring 81 of 51 deliveries to help his team reach 167 in the lot of 20 overs. In the replay, Chennai Super Kings got off to a good start as Australian Shane Watson scored a 50 of 40 balls and formed a strong partnership with Raidu, who scored 30 runs. However, the men in yellow kept losing wickets at irregular intervals and a last-minute cameo from Ravindra Jadeja scoring 21 of 8 deliveries couldn't help them reach the Knight Riders total. They could only reach 157 in their 20 overs, losing the match by 10 runs. Today, Sunrisers Hyderabad will play against Kings 11 Punjab. We are at the end of Janata Bulletin and the headlines once again. Government confirms highest single day infection from coronavirus in Nepal. More than 3,000 cases reported across the country yesterday. Government gives go-ahead to conduct exams, precautionary measures to be adopted for all level examinations. Government urges public not to celebrate Dasai this year, warns of possible risk of uncontrolled outbreak during festive season. Russia reports a successful test launch of a hypersonic missile. The missile reported to be capable of flying nine times the speed of sound. And Djokovic struggles into the semi-finals of the French Open. Nadal and Tsitsipas join the serve in the final four. And that's all from the English News Desk for today. You can follow Janata Television and our programs on various social media platforms, including on our website, janatasamatra.com. Keep watching Janata Television. Namaste.